Now let's look at angles of insertion, right? Because there are four angles of insertion that we want to be uh, cognizant of and we want to keep in mind. The first angle of insertion is uh, perpendicular insertion, and this is by far the most common. So let's take a look here at the practice pad, and I'll show you a um, perpendicular insertion. Perpendicular insertion means perpendicular to the skin. So if we're looking at the flat um, level of this practice pad and consider that to be the skin, then this is a perpendicular insertion. Of course, if we were going in to the side here and we were looking at the skin here, this would be perpendicular. It's still perpendicular to the skin. And if we were coming in on this edge of the uh, practice pad, this would be considered perpendicular to the skin, right? So we always want to keep that in mind when we are looking at acupuncture points. If we are going into a point, let's say, that would be located here, perpendicular to the skin would not be like this nor like this, but it would be like that. It would be, we want to take into consideration the plane of the surface of the skin and go perpendicular to that. So perpendicular insertion is certainly uh, one of the most common um, directions that we needle acupuncture points on. Um, the uh, second most common probably is a uh, 45 degree angle or an oblique angle. So a 45 degree angle looks something like that. Um, there's also a um, transverse angle, which is less than five degrees. So almost lying down directly on the skin is transverse. And then the other angles um, that we can consider are a um, perpendicular oblique and a transverse oblique, which just are splitting the differences. And you will see that in acupuncture books as you look at different um, acupuncture, let me adjust this one, make it a little bit more of the right angle. So that we have 90 degrees, we have 70 degrees, we have 45 degrees, we have somewheres around 20 degrees and somewheres around 5 degrees or something like that. Um, our most common directions are perpendicular, transverse oblique, and transverse. These uh, transverse oblique and transverse are used commonly in areas on the upper part of the uh, thorax in and around the area of the lungs or any place where it might be. Um, uh, we might want to pay particular attention to the underlying structure and want to avoid structures that are under the skin. We oftentimes will use these more uh, transverse insertions. Let's talk about acupuncture needling techniques. Now, there is a lot that we can say about acupuncture needling techniques. There are many different types of what we call tonification and sedation techniques. Tonification techniques are used to tonify or to strengthen an acupuncture point or to strengthen an acupuncture system. We might use a tonification technique on a point like stomach 36 or spleen 6, some of the more nourishing or strengthening points on the body. And we'll use dispersing points on points like large intestine 4 and liver 3. Dispersing and sedating are synonymous, really, with one another uh, in Chinese medicine. So when we have any kind of painful situations or what we call stuck situations, we will oftentimes use more dispersing techniques. The third technique is what we would call an even technique or a harmonizing technique. Um, but in reality, there are really only two basic approaches to needling with an acupuncture needle. So we're going to take a look at those right now. The first one is the harmonizing um, uh, technique, which is really very similar, if not the same, as the um, tonifying technique. So let's take a look at our practice pad. I'm going to take a number three um, uh, one-inch needle. I'm going to break the seal of the needle against the um, insertion tube. I'm going to hold the tube and the needle together. I place it on the skin and tap the needle in solid. And you can see that the needle did go in solidly. And then the technique then, a, a tonifying technique um, is to gently um, push the needle down to the level of the acupuncture point. And most of the time, that's somewhere 
in the belly of the muscle that's underneath the point, um, be quarter of an inch, a half an inch, in some cases much deeper, in some cases more shallowly. Um, but we will ge generally go to that level with a little bit of stimulus so that the patient says that they feel the chi. Now, feeling the chi, as we mentioned before, is a deep, distending type of a feeling, a traveling sensation, electrical sensation, something like that. But you want the patient to just barely feel that. So gently pressing the needle in, gently giving it a little bit of a twist, perhaps a little lifting and thrusting, and we are um, then complete um, with that particular point. The person just feels it, we'll leave it. That is a, a, a very effective way to tonify or to treat just to harmonize an acupuncture point. If we need to disperse that point, in the case of someone who is having uh, a painful situation, we've got pain, tension, tightness in a muscle, things like that, then we need to do a much more aggressive needling technique. And that aggressive needling technique will include much more twisting of the needle and also much more vigorous lifting and thrusting. So that vigorous lifting and thrusting of the acupuncture needle with twisting and the patient will generally feel a much stronger stimulus through this type of an approach. Um, and they'll say, oh yes, I feel that very strong or I feel that traveling down my arm, something like that. So those are really the two approaches. There's either sedating or dispersing with a vigorous twisting and lifting and thrusting or gentle twisting, lifting and thrusting for a more tonifying or a more even harmonizing.